Hey guys, I'm here to film a makeup tutorial for you. Um, I'm not like 100% what I'm doing today. I've got a whole bunch of products just like laying around. Um, newer products that I want to try that I haven't tried yet. So I guess let's just jump right into it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try Maybelline Fit Me um, Nude Beige 125 Matte and Poreless. Um, I know the shade is darker for me. It looks a lot darker, like, on camera, obviously, because we're a couple shades uh, different when we are on camera. We're a couple shades lighter. But I love the formula of this. It's a really good foundation, so um, I've been dying to dip into it again because it's been a while. Because my other one I used mainly on other people because it was too light for me, and I just mixed it in with my foundation. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and mix this foundation right here. I mix that and I mix the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Neutral Classic Ivory. I mixed the two together on my little pan here. And I'm just going to go ahead and swirl my finger around with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender or if I'm going to apply it with a brush today. I'm not really sure what I'm feeling and I'm also going to go ahead and mix in some of these Hard Candy Look Pro Illuminating, illuminating and Strobing um, drops. They come with like a little dropper. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a few drops in there. Because um, the reason why I wanted to use the matte foundation is another reason because of this. Because I wanted to kind of see how these drops worked and if they really gave me a dewy finish and whatnot. So I'm going to mix that in with my foundation. You know what's stupid? Every time I do a tutorial, I end up doing my makeup backwards. I just realized I don't normally do my makeup like this. I normally just do my eyeshadow first. And here I am already putting my foundation on. So I have to do my foundation now because I don't want it to dry or anything. So I already moisturized my face, cleaned it, and all that good stuff. I'm just going to apply this Card Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. But before I do this, I think I'm going to apply a little bit of the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm just because um, I want some extra moisture to my face. I feel like it's super dry right now. If I mean, but the, the primer that I'm going to be using anyway is going to be hydrating, but I like to have an extra layer down because honestly, um, when you're working with dry skin, you really need to moisturize big time for your makeup to stay on. So I'm just going to do that first, let it sit for a minute, and then I'm going to do the um, Sheer Envy one. So. I love the feel of the stuff. It smells good. It's awesome. I, this is definitely going to be a favorite of mine this month. Whew. I'm just going to let that settle in to the face. And while I let that sit, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick just because I got some extra time. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this spoolie and run it through my brows. You guys, I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever, so I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> Um, but I only did it like two weeks ago, but anyway. This is the Ultimate Brow Mascara from Wet n Wild in the shade Blonder Over Yonder, which is the weirdest name ever, but that's what it's called. And this, I really like this product. Um, it was only like $4.99, and I've been using it every day since I bought it. But the only thing is that I find it gives you such a bold look that if you're not looking to go bold with your brows, you really need to be careful. Like, you don't want to put... Because... The little brush in here, the little spoolie, you see how much product is on there? It's like caked on there, which is good if you want a really bold look, but if you don't, you need to watch out, seriously. So I let that sit on the face. I don't know what my deal is. I'm just being a fool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this. Um, actually, I'm not going to use that one. I'll use this one. This is the e.l.f. Eye Refresher, and I'm just going to use this to kind of like hydrate under the eyes, I guess you could say. Before I apply my concealer later, I just wanted to use it because it's 
good for puffiness and what have you. So let's see. Let's see how this foundation does. I think I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender because I want a little bit lighter coverage today. I'm not looking for a crazy, like, super full coverage foundation. I just want to see how this looks. Actually, I did a pretty good job, uh, like, mixing the color onto my, the colors together. I mean, I didn't do the best job. Like, it's not exactly my skin tone, but it's okay. Yeah, I just want, like, a little bit more of, like, a dewier finish and a lighter coverage for my foundation today. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm not feeling a heavy foundation. I actually have been feeling a lot like I've been wanting a lighter coverage lately. I'm not sure why, but that's how I've been feeling. But, yeah. So I'm just going ahead and pouncing this on the face. Applying a little bit extra to certain areas where I feel like they need a little bit extra, like my cheeks, as usual, because um, I have a lot of rosacea on my cheeks. I think this, um, these illuminating drops definitely gave my face like a dewier, a dewier um, finish. I did use the matte foundation. I did use a little bit of the True Match, which is like a natural finish. Um, but I do feel like the dewy drops worked pretty well. Oh, God. I shouldn't have worn these big hooker earrings. <laughs> you guys like how I did that? I just want to make sure my, my neck matches my face. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I don't know, I just guess I'll add a little bit more coverage for the cheeks because I just had a little bit more foundation left. Okay. So that part is done. Now I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Stila Prime Pot. As usual, I'm going to go ahead and use a concealer brush. This is just a Sony Kashuk um, concealer brush to apply it. Um, I was wondering, do you guys want some videos where I do some makeup tutorials that are actually like really informative for beginners or would you guys just like to see more in depth like I don't know what you guys want would you would you guys like to see um videos where I'm doing like uh how I highlight and contour the face would you like some videos where I like show you how to make your eyeshadow last I mean I mentioned things like here and there but I was wondering if you guys wanted like an in-depth tutorial because sometimes it's going to be helpful for people who are beginners, and I'm not really sure who my audience is, so I'd like to kind of um, do some things that help you guys out. So whatever kind of like makeup tutorials, suggestions that you have for me um, that you want to see, and like I have so many drugstore products, it's ridiculous. Like I'm mainly like a drugstore person, so um, if you have any type of like drugstore stuff you want me to try out, let me know. If you have any, like, drugstore, um, like, get ready with me's that you want to see, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will try and do that for you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of got sidetracked, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that I will do that. So, I was thinking about using the Lime Crime Venus palette, um, just because I really like the colors in here, and I think I'm just going to do it. Like, I don't even care, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and use a fluffy brush. I'm just going to use this dress length fluffy brush. And I'm going to use the shade um, for the crease. I think I'm going to use Divine Creation and Muse in the crease. So Divine 
creation and use. Um, use. <laughs> in the crease. Um, because, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to put a freaking... That's okay. I forgot to set my primer. And it does make a huge difference, so... Because I got sidetracked talking about what videos you guys want to see. So, but I was thinking about doing that on my channel, making it kind of like a um, beginner's, like, um, guide to, like, applying makeup and stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, if you want, like, more in-depth tutorials... Like, I don't know. Just let me know. So I just went in with Divine. Now I'm going in with Creation. I really love the color combination of these two. They're absolutely gorgeous. And the way it looks in the crease is just on a whole other level. I don't really have any other eyeshadows like this. And it just makes the look so grungy and pretty. I love it. I'm so into these grunge shadows. They're, like, gorgeous. I'm focusing this mostly on the outer corner, the outer crease, I mean, than the inner crease. I'm leaving the inner crease a little bit more open than I am the outer crease, by the way. And um, for the lid shade, I was thinking about doing something really different. <sighs> Let's see. Under... I think I'm going to use this. This is the Prestige Total Intensity Eyeshadow in the shade um, Long. Oh, the Long Term Relationship Fierce Color Eyeshadow in the shade Hocus Pocus. And this is what it looks like. It's a very um, duochrome color. It's almost like the blue brown Mac shade that everybody talks and raves about. It's kind of like one of those iridescent shades. So. I don't know. I think I'm just going to apply it with my finger because I do believe these work best with the finger. If you can see there, it's really gorgeous duochrome. So I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. I didn't end up using the red shade yet because I'm not really sure how the red is going to look. The red in my, um, the Muse shade in my Lime Crime palette. I haven't done that yet because I'm not sure how it's going to look on the skin with this color because I wanted this eyeshadow to be the main focus of the look so I'm not really sure if I'm going to pull in the Muse shade or not because it is a very bold shade. I think I will but I just wanted to lay this color down first just to see if I could work with both at the same time. That sounds very sexual. I don't know. You guys sound really bad. So this is, it's still, I literally put it on my eyes and it's still, whoa, whoa. It's still like crazy pigmented on my fingers. Like I love these prestige shadows. They are the bomb. They're awesome. They're so pigmented and so good. It's crazy. It's crazy how intense they are sometimes. So, um. I'm just going ahead and wiping away the excess. I do see some fallout. That's why I normally don't um, do my foundation first. I usually do it afterwards. It's kind of, speaking of foundation, it's looking a little odd. It's looking like I didn't blend it right or something, or blend it enough. It's very weird. I did put a lot on, so that's probably why it kind of looks a little bit cakey. But, I don't really know. I don't know. So, with that being said, I think I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. Or just use this, because I feel like it needs more moisture or something. It's weird. This is just a Victoria's Secret Prime, Makeup Prime and Set um, Makeup Spray. It's good for just hydrating the skin as well. I just wanted to kind of go in because I felt like a little off or something. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Lime Crime Shade Icon, which is this really dark brown in this corner. It's like a chocolate brown. I'm going to go ahead and use that on the same crease brush or the same uh, fluffy brush that I use in the crease. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this on the outer corner of the eye to give it more depth and dimension. 
This color is so pretty and it is wicked pigmented. And with no additional product, I kind of, what I did is I kind of just brushed my product off. Um, sorry, I thought something was flying in my room, but I didn't see anything. Um, I just kind of... Sorry, I'm losing track because I'm like, looking at my eyes, they look so dark. My under eyes look dark. Anyway... Um, I just wiped it off and then I applied the, I didn't apply any additional color and I kind of went over my crease like this very, very lightly. Now I'm going to take a tad bit of that new shade that I was telling you guys about, the red, because I feel like my eyes are looking a little bit like vampire-y right now, so I don't want to add to it, but I am anyway, because it's just how I do things around here. Just with the colors of the blue and the, they kind of look like a vampire, but it's kind of cool. So, um, then I'm going to go back in with the shade creation, which is more of the orangey shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into the crease as well. And then I'm going to go back in with the um, Focus Pocus shade and from Prestige, and I'm going to apply it all over the lid again just to give it a really strong look. I love this shade. It's literally so gorgeous. take some of this shell shade which is this beautiful like peachy color right here it's got a lot of sheen to it and this is a good shade to layer with I'm wondering what it's gonna look like on the center of the eye just in the center to just kind of give the eyeshadow a little bit of pop and dimension just packing it with my finger very lightly Kind of like blending it in. I just put a very little bit, you guys. I didn't put a lot because I don't want to go ham. Then I'm going to take that um, brown icon shade and just blend out the outer corner a little bit more. So I feel like I lost a little bit of it. I lost it. Okay, so now that's what's going on so far with the eyes. Um, for the brow bone, I'm going to take the shade Aura, which is the white shade in there, cream shade, and I'm just going to take a flat brush. This is just an uh, Eco Tools brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the brow bone. Shit. You know, I hate when, like, I mess up on eyeshadow. Sucks. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with some bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and use, sorry, I had a little eyelash on my face. I'm going to go ahead and use the True Complexion Contour Palette Light to Medium from Black Radiance. I know this is normally for deeper skin tones, but these two colors look like really good bronzers, and I figured, why not? It's, you know, you don't have to use it for deeper skin tones. It just, you know, recommends whatever. So I kind of want to use a fluffy brush to apply this, so I'm just going to use this um, blending brush from e.l.f. It's like kind of like a contour brush, but it applies stuff very lightly. I'm going to use the shade that says Sculpt in here. 
The only thing that I can see about these shades is they look pretty orangey for my skin tone, but we're going to try and work with it anyway. And no, I'm not contouring yet. I'm just applying this to the face as if I were just bronzing up the face. Um, but this brush is a little, I don't think this brush is what I was looking for. This is just a Kabuki brush. It's supposed to be very similar to um, the NARS Kabuki, Japanese Kabuki brush. I'm not really sure what it's called, but. I'm just going to apply a tad bit and tap off a lot because this really packs a punch of color. Like I said, this is for deeper complected skin tones normally, but I wanted to use just a little bit on myself just to see if I could get away with it. And I kind of can. I'm usually like a medium skin tone, medium, neutral. Um, but I'm not really sure how I like the powder itself. You know, it just, it seems a little bit harder to blend than normal, but it could be the fact that I didn't set my face with a, um, with a powder today, a translucent powder. So... All in all, I say that shade's just okay. It's not great for my skin tone by any means. Um, so, I don't know. Let's see. Now I'm going to apply this Kiko blush. This is in a uh, soft touch blush in shade 105. This is what it looks like. It's very cool toned. So I was thinking that I could contour with it. Because it's really cool toned, but... Mm. Mm. It actually, you know, the funny thing is, it looks a lot more like a blush when you start to apply it to the face than it does in the pan. So we're just going to have some really rosy cheeks today. I'll just use that as the blush, but I'll also incorporate a little bit more bronzer because I wasn't expecting it to be that blush looking, but it's really pretty though. It's actually gorgeous. I really like it. I really like it. And I'm actually going to go in with a bronzer. This is the Kiko number 104 bronzer. And I'm going to apply this all over the face because I didn't like that other bronzer much at all, actually. Which is odd, but I really didn't. This one's better. This one's really nice, very blendable, very nice feeling, I guess. I don't know really soft, I think. Not as orange, which I like. That other one is just too orange for me, but, and I figured it would be because I could tell kind of in the pan, but it's okay. I'm still here, I'm still working with it. So I'm gonna take this, where did that freaking, okay this um, professional eyeliner brush from e.l.f. and I'm just going to go ahead and take this and kind of um, sculpt the nose out as if I was contouring it. Well, I'm going to contour the nose with this powder as if it was like a, a true... What word am I looking for? A true contour color, even though it's a little bit warmer than what I would normally use to contour. Kind of didn't want like a crazy strong contour today anyway. I just want something a little bit lighter, less dramatic. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So. Now that that took forever, I feel, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more blush. This is the Jane 
peach bouquet blush and I just wanted to use it because it looks pretty. I don't really know how this applies. I have no clue. It just, I don't know. I, I got it. Whoa, it's got a ton of fall out. Ooh, I just dug my nail into it. Um, I got it at Kohl's because it was on sale, on clearance, and I wanted to try it, so here I am. I kind of am staying to the lighter parts of the blush because I'm not really a huge, like, crazy blush all over my face person. Like, I like a lighter blush, pretty much, like a more nude kind of blush, and then I'm just going back in with the Kabuki and blending it out. <clears throat> okay, so now that I've pretty much sculpted all that together, I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye concealer because Lord knows I need help with that. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use an eyeshadow primer. I figured this out last week because I was doing my makeup and I did this on accident. I put eyeshadow primer underneath my eyes and I actually found that it is like the best freaking under eye primer ever and it keeps my concealer on all day, which I always have issues with. So this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Eden and I am literally just going to take this, a little bit of it, dab it on my fingers, and go ahead and go in with the product right underneath the eye. It's funny when you find stuff like this, like that's for another purpose. Like I always love that because it's like a multi-purpose item. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Dark Circle Concealer from NYX in the shade Medium. As usual, this is just a um, an orange concealer. It's going to help color correct your under eyes if you have super dark circles like I do. I was looking in the um, mirror and I was like, wow, I, my dark circles are really bad today. So you'll see how this really just helps. This is the, um, the Sonia Kashuk. Um, eyeshadow or concealer brush. Oh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Master Conceal from Face Studio, which is just um, Maybelline, and this is in the shade Light. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this on top of the orange concealer. Go ahead, use a little bit of that, and I'm gonna blend it in with this. Um, this is like one of the artist brushed brush dupes. Um, basically all it is is a, a little brush that I got on eBay for 99 cents and it works awesome for blending out concealer and liquid foundation. Actually, I haven't tried it with foundation yet, but I've heard good stuff about the foundation and I have tried it with, um, with a liquid contour and it works really good as well. Go ahead and put this on the sides of my nose. Oh, oh, oh. I know I have that much product on my finger. I'm going to go ahead and use this to sharpen my eyeshadow just by like. putting it upwards, I guess you could say. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the last step. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just using this to highlight the face. Okay. Just making sure I didn't go in with powder because sometimes I do that and I'm like, shit, you know. I went in with powder for bronzer and stuff and blush so I can't touch that those areas. So I have to be really careful how far down I put this concealer, but I really like the highlighting effect this gives, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my Beauty Blender. It still has foundation on it. 
whatever. Sorry if this video is boring. I feel like all my makeup tutorials are so boring. That's why I've kind of like not done them every week. I've just done them when I feel like it. Which is like usually once every two weeks or so. Lately. Um, so I don't know. I feel like you guys get sick of these tutorials. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just being dramatic probably. As usual. That's me. Not really. Anyway. Well, kind of. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with this NYC Smoothing Skin Face Powder in Translucent. And be ready to get it all over your freaking desk and all over your shirt like I just did. This happens to me every day. So I'm going to go down with this, but I'm not going to go like crazy far down because I do have the blush on and stuff. I don't want to mess that up. I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes. I'm going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose because I feel like sometimes I want it to be really highlighted with the contour that I do. I'm going to go ahead and brush that off my boobs because that wouldn't be cute. Um, so, now while this sits, I still see it on my shirt, I'm going to go ahead and um, use this mascara. This is just the Waterproof Plumpify from CoverGirl. I need to learn how to edit my videos though. Like if you guys have any tips, let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea how to do it and I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm nervous on how to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what should I do now, you guys? Can't highlight the face yet, but I'm picking out what I want to use. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and fix up my eyeshadow just a tad bit. Um, I put that shell color, like, on the middle of the eye, and I'm not really feeling it. So I'm just going to go right back over it with the Focus Poker shade. And just make that, again, the main focus of the eye, because sometimes I just tried too many things at once, and it's just like, eh, no, I liked it originally the, the other way better. So... So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away this powder. It has not been sitting on my face long at all. Um, normally I like it to sit for a little bit longer, but it's okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. And I'm using this new e.l.f. highlighting brush. I really, really like this to wipe away excess powder underneath the eyes. I think it really does help. Oh, hi mascara. It hasn't dried all the way, my mascara, so here I am making a mess. Anyway. Oh, 
excuse me. I have like the hiccups or something. I don't know what's going on. Just taking the beauty blender and just kind of blending stuff out because it looked a little bit intense right there. So I'm going to go underneath the eye. I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line, smoke it out with the same colors that I used above. And I see I jacked up my shadow again because of my mascara. I hate when mascara is not dry all the way and you just like smear it. It's like the worst. Just shows you guys I am not really that great. All right, so I think I'm going to use a smudger brush first, and I'm just going to use this little Sunny Cash one. I'm just going to go ahead and with the shade Divine and Creation, and I'm going to put it on the lower lash line to kind of give a base for all the other colors that we're going to be using. Oh, and you can get it in your eye too. Don't recommend it, but I just did. I'm going to go ahead and get out my little eye goo that I have going on there. That's not cute either. Do you hate that? Ugh. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the um Focus Focus shade, and I'm going to put this on the center of the eye. I don't know if it's really going to show up too well. Can't really tell. that looks okay. I don't know. Not having a great day with makeup today. I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't know. This is the icon shade. I'm smudging that on the lower lash line on the outer half of the eye. And I was thinking about doing a dramatic wing, but this video is like already 40 minutes and I don't think I can handle that. Because uh, it takes me forever to do a wing, so you'd be sitting here for like an hour watching this video. And I don't want to do that to you guys. But feel free to add a dramatic wing. I might add mine later after this video. I don't know. I just curled my lashes after they've been dry, supposedly, and they're not all the way dry, but they're still there, so we're good. <laughs> um... I actually liked using that little Sony Kashuk brush. This is for the under eye. It's nice. Um, okay. So now for the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and use something. I really want something like super brightening as an eyeshadow, but I don't know. What do I have in here? No. Actually, that would look pretty cool, but I don't think I want to. It's like an iridescent color too, but I don't think I want to fuck with that. I'm going to end with that today. Maybe I'll do something like really crazy. Thinking about it. This shade is a similar shade to what I have on the lid. This is um, like a mermaid, like iridescent, duochrome. Shade. This is a NYX shade in the shade Mermaid. It's 
called Mermaid, which is cool. Um, I'm thinking about using that on the inner corner of the eye instead of doing, like maybe I'll do a white underneath and then I'll do that on top. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take the Venus palette again and I'm gonna use that Aura shade. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the inner corner for some highlighting effect an eye-opening effect and then I'm going to go ahead and use that mermaid shade hopefully this will be okay in the inner corner I'm not really sure yeah that's cool gives it like a nice iridescent look like it pulls the look together a little bit it's not the same color as what I have on my lid but it's in the same color family so I just figured it'd be cool to do. My nose is itching on the inside. It's so annoying. Do you not hate that? Like it's super annoying. So now I'm going to use the telescopic shocking extensions mascara from L'Oreal in the shade black brown and I'm just going to go ahead and use this on the lower lashes. Oh my god, my nose is just so bad. Always like during a makeup tutorial where you can't like dig in your nose. Is that gross? I'm just saying in general, sometimes you got to get up there to like work things out. That's gross. But it's true. Sometimes I'll be talking here and I'll be filming and I forget I'm filming and I'll just be like, what am I doing? <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. It's itching so bad. You guys have no idea. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my highlights. My favorite part. Um, I'm going to use Gerard Cosmetics Marilyn to highlight with today. I tried this yesterday and it wasn't as bam in your face as I thought it was going to be, but I'm going to go ahead and try it wet and use my Anastasia A23 brush, and I'm going to go ahead and use the spray that I use, the Prime Set and Spray. Stuff that I used. And I'm going to go ahead and drench, drench my brush in that. I'm going to wipe off the excess, like the actual craziness on my hand, and then I'm going to go in with the highlighter. Let's see if this picks up the product pretty well. I love this highlight. It's so pretty. So pretty. I'm gonna use a lot on the Cupid's bow because I like it to be really defined. I'm gonna use a little bit on the tip of the nose. I like these highlighters from Gerard because you can go really heavy or you can go really light. Um, it's a very buildable highlighter. Same with all the other colors that I have. I have Bridget and Audrey, and I like those as well. I think I'm actually going to mix, oh my god, that's so pretty. I think I'm going to mix um, Audrey in as well because I really like the way she has a little bit more champagne in her. So um, Marilyn is like a straight gold and Audrey is like a, like a gold but with champagne in it. It's super pretty. Ooh, yes. You guys are going to see this highlight from space. Seriously. Someone will. Look, I mean, oh, oh. is it blinding you yet? It's blinding me. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. 
So I'm taking my hair down even though I shouldn't because I'm probably going to be spraying my face again. But, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to spray it with the dewy finish because you guys know I love my NYX dewy finish. Setting spray. I'm almost out of it. It's really saddening. Saddening? Is that a word? It's not a word. And I just soaked my hair, as I always do on accident. But it is what it is. And I'm going to go ahead and use... What lip color do I want today? Do I want lip gloss? Do I want a matte lip? Let's see. This would actually really tie in really well with my eyes. So this is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lip in the shade Ecstasy. Before I put that on, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lips with this little like Dr. Brandt volumizer. But it's also really good for moisturizing your lips. And it's a good, like, base before you put on a liquid lipstick so it doesn't feel as drying. Please excuse me because I haven't worn this yet, so I'm, like, dying for the color. Sweet Jesus, this is beautiful. Definitely feel like I should have used a lip liner, but I forgot. So now my lips look massive. Which I ain't mad at. But. Oh. Okay. I kind of jacked it up a little bit. <laughs> That's why you use lip liner kids. When you're doing a look like this. But I like to be a rebel. Not really. All right. So I hope this video wasn't too boring. Oh, well. If it was, I apologize. But this is what the finished look looks like. I hope you guys can see with the lighting. I hope the lighting's okay today. Super bright out. If you guys like the way it turned out, I was thinking um, I might put like a nude or gloss on this lip, but I actually really, really like it the way it is, so I might just leave this. It's so like sexy, like it's like bam in your face kind of thing, so I do like that about it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.